is very exhausting. I don't know if you feel that way, but for some reason, it is exhausting. Okay, maybe we should get up there. Hello, little baby. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, welcome to the vlog. Today I'm going to show you a few clips from two days. I wanted to start off by showing you the dress that I'm wearing today. It's a cute butterfly dress and I'm wearing that same white bag that you might have seen if you actually watched my last vlog. Speaking of vlogs, they take a lot of effort to put together and film, so I would appreciate it if you would hit the like button. You can also leave me a comment at any time throughout the video. I love sitting down, reading them, and replying to all of you. I'm taking out the Advil right now and I'm bringing it to my husband and I will explain to you later on why I'm giving him Advil. Before we go to the grocery store today, I of course have to work on my handy dandy to-do list and I'm fake crying. I kind of feel like a mime um, because I need to buy new flowers today. That is on my list of things to buy. It is a hot and sunny day outside. And where I live, it is mandatory to wear a mask, so I'll probably be very sweaty after I go grocery shopping. We are gonna go grocery shopping today, and I always feel like my grocery shopping days where I go to Walmart and I do my big grocery shop is very exhausting. I don't know if you feel that way, but for some reason, it is exhausting. I actually prefer these types of masks because they cover more of my face, but I do have a homemade one that my mom gave to me. Driving, so I'll try not to look at the camera, of course, safety first. I wanted to explain to you why I gave my husband Advil. The reason is because he actually broke his foot a few days ago. And if you follow me on Instagram, that might come as a shock to a few of you because he did a few weeks ago also break his knuckle. We thought it was his entire hand, but thankfully it was only his knuckle, so he was able to move his fingers to a certain extent. This time, we also thought that him breaking his foot would actually require surgery, but thank God, it does not. All it needs is for him to wear a boot for several weeks, which I'm sure he's absolutely going to hate. So don't mind me dancing in the car. The next clip that you will see, it actually cut off. So I'm talking halfway through the video at the point where it cut off. I hope that made sense. But the point is that you can still be feminine, yet express your personality, even if it does have a few quirks or a little bit of whimsy or whatever that means for you. So let's do this thing. I will use the phone as a mirror. And uh, ouch, ouch. Outside, and this mask makes it makes it so much worse. I'm back home, and this is an apron that I actually haven't showed you. It's just a plain white apron, and I think I will get a lot of use out of it this summer because, as you can probably already tell, I like to wear colors and skirts and dresses that are on the lighter side or they have a hint of white in them. I am actually recreating. A few flower arrangements, centerpieces that I saw on Pinterest and of course you know me, by this point many of you are probably irritated with my lemon theme but it's still going strong, the lemon obsession, the lemon crew is still here to stay for the summer season. <laughs> So 
So I played around a little bit with the height of the different flowers and I actually think that this arrangement would look nicer if you had thicker flowers, wider flowers, for example hydrangeas, I can never pronounce that well. And for that reason, since I found there was a lot of empty space, I actually went outside to see what I could find to add to fill the void between each flower. In my how to be feminine in summer video, I actually recommended that you spend some time walking outside without any shoes on. Sorry about the fact that you have to see my feet, but that is what I'm doing right here, just trying to soak in every moment. One of my favorite evening rituals in the summer is drinking my nighttime tea outside. And I feel so blessed and fortunate that we have a willow tree on our property. And if you don't already know this about me, I love willow trees. The sun sets perfectly under the willow tree and the view is truly magical. It is the next day and let's make a cake because I think that this is a great summer cake that I have seen on Pinterest here and there and I definitely believe that you will like it and it will probably suit your aesthetic. Hello little baby. <laughs> I will also show you one of my favorite house dresses. It stays wrinkly. I do steam it. I will tell you that. I do steam it but it stays rather wrinkly and I'm going to pair it again with a lovely apron that I wore yesterday. I'm forcing myself to use the technological fridge a little bit more. I've mentioned this in one of my previous vlogs, but my husband really wanted this fridge. I didn't care so much for it. I thought it was a waste of money, but it is useful in certain situations like this one. And if you want the actual recipe as well, go on my Pinterest, it's linked there. So one of you recommended a podcast called The Modern Lady. I'm sorry I can't remember who it is who left me the comment, but thank you so much. It is a Christian, Catholic, homemaker-inspired based podcast that I think that if those categories suit you, you would also love it. Now today's Pyrex that I have to show you is actually probably the best to date. It is the Friendship Pyrex Bowl from the 1970s. As you can tell, if you have been a longtime subscriber to the channel, those are all things that I like. Pink, Pyrex, Friendship, and the 1970s.
before we put together the layers, I wanted to show you this new rug that I got from the thrift store that I'm actually going to put in little Mr. Blitz's room. This is basically his room by now because I put the litter in here and he likes to hang out in here and as you can tell, this is authentically how messy and dirty he gets it when he hops out of the litter box because he sprawls it everywhere and likes to shake off his paws. Let's to say, I think that it's time for him to have a longer mat like this one. One of the reasons why I find this cake so aesthetically pleasing is because it looks like an effortless cake. It probably was effortless for the professional bakers who invented these recipes and put them together, but for me, the inexperienced housewife baker that's just trying her best, this is effort for me. And um, even if it's not perfect, it doesn't show that much because it's supposed to not be perfect. Now if you haven't done it already, please hit the red subscribe button because on this channel we talk about femininity and as you can tell by this vlog, we talk about housewife stuff, homemaking, endeavors, etc, etc. I wanted to tell you that this cake was very delicious. I didn't even take a clip of myself eating it um, because I didn't want to show you my face since I devoured it. And lastly, I want to show you these cute plates I thrifted that I love. Thank you so much, lovely feminine friends. See you next time.